uh, welcome at uh, stem cell therapy uh, for me. Uh, we serve as an international platform uh, providing uh, top medical care, including regenerative medicine and stem cell therapies for patients worldwide. Uh, let me explain how it works and uh, how it functions. Uh, my name is uh, Jaroslav Michalek. I'm a medical doctor with um, 27 years of clinical and research experience in medicine. I'm board certified in immunology, oncology and pediatrics and I also published um, more than 120 scientific articles mainly um, with a focus in uh, cell therapies. Uh, currently, I'm also the president of the International Consortium for Cell Therapy and Immunotherapy. And um, uh, this international consortium is focusing mainly on how to use uh, cells as a tool for treatment of um, many diseases. Um, in uh, yellow color, you can, you can see the uh, members of this international consortium. And uh, really, we are uh, spread it uh, worldwide. Uh, we were also uh, fortunate to uh, publish a very uh, large study uh, using stem cells uh, derived from uh, adipose and connective tissue in patients with uh, osteoarthritis. And uh, to my knowledge, um, uh, this is one of the largest, um, actually world largest uh, studies that uh, were published uh, to this uh, focus. Uh, today I would like to um, explain uh, what is a stem cell and uh, how we can use it for treatment. So basically uh, the, the main characteristics of uh, stem cells is that uh, there is a self-renewal potential of a uh, stem cell and also um, uh, any stem cell can differentiate in, into any uh, specialized cell. Um, we have various sources of um, stem cells, um, uh, typically for research use only we can get uh, embryonic or fetal stem cells and for clinical use we are using only uh, adult stem cells meaning that uh, the stem cells was obtained from um, a healthy or um, a sick adult and uh, this treatment has been shown as um, uh, quite safe for uh, clinical applications. Uh, clinically uh, there are several sources of uh, stem cells and typically uh, we are working in autologous setting, meaning that uh, the patient um, uh, himself or herself would be a donor of his own uh, stem cells. Uh, historically, bone marrow was a really good source of uh, so-called hematopoietic stem cells. And more recently, fat or adipose tissue is uh, very rich for mesenchymal stem cells. This is excellent source of stem cells for tissue repair and tissue healing. There are also some other sources of um, stem cells, but uh, it's less practical to uh, get it from those uh, sources. Uh, the main capability of um, mesenchymal stem cells uh, are that they are able to uh, migrate to the site of injury. Uh, these mesenchymal stem cells are able to uh, decrease inflammation and also chronic inflammation and also decrease immune reaction in the site of um, medical problem. Um, they work um, almost independently on oxygen. Um, they are able to uh, contribute to healing and tissue regeneration. Uh, they have that uh, self-renewal potential and they are also able to uh, differentiate into any cell type. Uh, on these pictures there are uh, various kinds of uh, mesenchymal stem cells in, in different uh, setups uh, grown in uh, our uh, laboratory. Uh, here is an example that uh, adipose derived or fat derived mesenchymal stem cell uh, has a huge potential to differentiate into various types of tissue including endothelium, including adipose, in including muscle, bone, myocardium, liver, cartilage, uh, neuronal tissue or pancreas. Uh, the concept of uh, stem cell therapy for mainly chronic diseases is uh, rather uh, simple to understand. Uh, basically, in the damaged tissue, uh, there is typically uh, degeneration and inflammation going on, which leads to uh, tissue damage. 
and uh, it might be associated with uh, stem cell insufficiency in such a place. If we um, obtain uh, stem cells from the site uh, where um, there is no need to, um, to have a big supply of these stem cells, for example from fat, from adipose tissue, we can restore the homeostasis um, between tissue regeneration and these uh, degenerative and inflammatory changes. And that also leads to um, stem cell homeostasis, meaning better health for the, for the patient suffering from some uh, chronic illness. Uh, as you may know, as, uh, as you may uh, notice, um, uh, the evolution unfortunately continues uh, towards chronic diseases, especially unhealthy diet, uh, less of um, exercise leads to this, um, uh, this type of, um, of uh, figure of, uh, of a human being, which is typically associated with many chronic diseases. And uh, chronic uh, diseases are um, very closely related to uh, chronic inflammation. And uh, you may ask uh, what contributes to uh, that chronic inflammation. Well, definitely there is a stress uh, that in our everyday life is, um, is frequently present. There are also toxins in our environment, in our food, in our water. And all of them contribute to uh, tissue damage and so-called oxidative stress. Uh, previously, in the um, um, past century, uh, people were thinking that uh, genetic predisposition um, playing a big role, but uh, recently uh, the um, current uh, research and scientific literature shows that the genetic predisposition influences the chronic disease in only 5-10%. to 10 So the influence of uh, genetic background is much less than it was uh, previously thought. And as you can see, the chronic inflammation is associated with many, uh, many diseases. Those are cardiovascular diseases, um, heart and blood vessels. Um, uh, there are uh, neurodegenerative diseases um, uh, where it's a close association with uh, chronic inflammation. Also, cancer uh, would be closely associated with uh, chronic inflammation. Then there are other, like musculoskeletal disorders, including osteoarthritis. There are many autoimmune diseases that are closely related to chronic inflammation and also um, some weakening of the immune system, including allergies, asthma or chronic uh, rhinitis might be associated with chronic uh, and long-term inflammation. Uh, for the 21st century, there is a new hope that um, we can actually uh, significantly improve health of people who are suffering um, uh, from some uh, chronic uh, diseases. And um, chronic diseases uh, represent about 90% uh, of all diseases, so they are more and more uh, frequent uh, recently. Unfortunately, uh, conventional therapy or so-called Western uh, therapy or pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical compound uh, therapy is not able to cure these chronic diseases it can only minimize the symptoms associated with uh, those uh, chronic diseases. And there is a new hope for uh, stem cell therapy and uh, regenerative medicine in general, which uh, represents a new potential to cure these chronic diseases completely, especially if it, uh, if it is combined with um, uh, active patient involvement, if um, uh, the patient is able to uh, minimize the stress load on himself or herself, or also uh, increase the stress resistance, um, it is uh, definitely, um, if it's combined with uh, optimized nutrition and uh, optimized exercise, th those are the factors that uh, definitely influence the um, good um, or excellent result of uh, stem cell therapy. Uh, here um, uh, there are examples of uh, clinical studies that were already uh, published in scientific literature that uh, are using uh, mesenchymal stem cells. And um, you may notice that this is um, uh, really, um, uh, they are really broadly used in uh, neurological diseases. They are commonly used also in um, cardiovascular diseases. Um, uh, they are also um, used in, um, in uh, lung diseases in the field of uh, pulmonology. Um, uh, they are used also in uh, orthopedic surgery, uh, namely in osteoarthritis. 
Um, the use of mesenchymal stem cells are documented in uh, eye diseases, in eye problems. Um, they can uh, completely cure uh, several autoimmune uh, disorders or diseases. Um, uh, the stem cells can be used in gastroenterology and also nephrology and uh, urology and uh, many others. Now, uh, you may ask um, why we are using fat as a source of uh, mesenchymal stem cells where the explanation is um, quite clear and um, we were also able to, uh, to publish some uh, scientific data about uh, comparison between uh, fat and bone marrow. As we get older, uh, our uh, amount of mesenchymal stem cells is uh, sharply, um, sharply decreasing as we, um, as we are getting older. And in comparison, fat or adipose tissue, the amount of uh, mesenchymal stem cells is pretty constant all over uh, the, uh, the adulthood. And um, uh, that's why uh, the source of mesenchymal stem cells is much richer, about 1000 times uh, richer than um, in comparison to uh, bone marrow. Uh, we were also uh, fortunate to, um, to develop uh, our own uh, proprietary kit for isolation of um, so-called uh, stromal vascular fraction, which is uh, rich um, in mesenchymal stem cells. And in our hands, we are using this um, CTSVF01 kit, which um, shows that the average um, um, stem cell numbers are much higher than so-called point-of-care systems um, that um, uh, are using uh, for um, uh, SVF isolation uh, worldwide. Uh, this will guarantee that uh, you will get the highest um, stem cell yield possible uh, during your medical procedure. Uh, here is the procedure itself. So uh, basically we are uh, starting to um, isolate so-called stromal vascular fraction uh, from, from fat. Uh, this is the uh, microscopic view of, um, um, of the fat tissue and uh, definitely there are some storage cells called adipocytes. We are trying to get rid of these cells but we are trying to obtain stromal vascular fraction cells which is the, the richest part for mesenchymal stem cells. Uh, typically, uh, the so-called lipoaspirate is obtained by a liposuction by a plastic surgeon. Uh, this is done in local anesthesia. Then there are several steps of uh, washing and incubation, centrifugation. So finally, we get at the bottom of this tube uh, so-called stromal vascular fraction cells rich in mesenchymal stem cells. And these cells are ready to be injected um, to the patient's body. Uh, here is an example of uh, injection to the knee joint, but we can also put them into infusion and um, provide them to the patient um, through intravenous um, application. Uh, now the uh, clinical and laboratory facility uh, must be uh, board certified. Here we are looking as an example of um, operating rooms. Um, here is the connection from the operating room uh, to the uh, laboratory. It's uh, definitely a very clean uh, laboratory which um, uh, provides the uh, safety uh, issues um, and uh, no, uh, no case of contamination uh, must be guaranteed in, in such a laboratory. And uh, finally, uh, this is an example of application room where um, um, we can provide the cells um, to, to the patient. Um, typically, um, we, um, in our complex uh, stem cell therapy program, we start with a complex diagnostic evaluation of the patient and uh, not only the clinical evaluation, but also we are trying to evaluate the stress load um, to the patient and also the, the level of uh, chronic inflammation. There are certain uh, blood tests that are required before we uh, can schedule an exact date for the stem cell procedure, um, as, as, you can see, as you can see here. Um, also, the uh, complex uh, stem cell uh, therapy program uh, 
uh, contains not only um, stem cell application but also um, we start on the first day with um, detoxification and uh, vitaminotherapy uh, which is provided uh, intravenously uh, then uh, we uh, follow with uh, intravenous or local stem cell application depending on the um, uh, medical condition we are always using only autologous stromovascular fraction cells that are rich for mesenchymal stem cells and um, these cells are being isolated from uh, from fat of um, of the patient himself or herself uh, then in uh, some conditions especially in some uh, neurological uh, medical conditions we are using after um, uh, intravenous uh, stem cell application we are using transcranial magnetotherapy and uh, in some cases we uh, might consider also regenerative laser therapy which um, add additional benefits um, for indicated uh, patients or clients uh, we also provide a healthy lifestyle counseling which is very important as I mentioned uh, regarding the healthy food and also optimizing the physical exercise in some cases uh, specialized physiotherapy or rehabilitation work now how does it work to uh, schedule an appointment um, with uh, stem cell therapy uh, for me so in case um, uh, you or your um, uh, close relative or a friend uh, has a medical problem uh, you can contact us by this uh, email address or you can uh, you can call us to this uh, phone number uh, there is more uh, additional information at our um, our website and um, you can also fill in a very brief uh, contact form uh, now based on a description of your uh, medical problem uh, we will contact you uh, very soon and um, we will try to uh, schedule free phone call or free uh, Skype consultation with myself and um, then uh, we will follow and we will send you a medical questionnaire form so uh, we'll be asking some additional information um, uh, from your site and also we can provide you more information about uh, our services uh, definitely we'll be considering uh, the best uh, treatment option uh, for you and then we can uh, schedule the uh, the appointment and also the date for the medical procedure uh, thank you very much for your attention and I hope this um, information um, uh, was useful for you and I hope that you uh, decide for stem cell therapy